What's going on devs? Welcome back to App Dev Channel. In today's episode, we are gonna create from scratch step by step a tab bear navigation. It appears on the bottom and sometimes on the top of the screen, and it lets people quickly switch among different sections of our page. In our case, it will change just the background color. But of course, you can use to change any content. We are gonna use HTML and CSS for this nice UI. And for behavior, we are gonna use JavaScript. We are gonna create event list on click. So every time you click on something, something is gonna happen, okay? So it's a really nice, a really cool project. I think is another great project that you add to your portfolio. If you're new here and you want to increase your web dev skills, subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a video like this one. So let's get started. Okay, and now we're gonna start our project really from the scratch, okay? Let's start going to the terminal and here let's use a command line. Let's make it fun. So we have touch, okay? And let's create first of all our index.html, also our style.css and app.js and hit enter and that's it. We have our three files. Alright. Let me close this for now. And yeah, let's go into the HTML, create our structure. Let's go to the title here. And in the title, let's say something like the name of the project, okay? Tab bear navigation and of course our big friend javascript all right this is part of our boilerplate and now we need a link to our font awesome because we're gonna be using some icons from font awesome and still in the head we need also a link to connect our html to our css okay and we're almost there here in the body, close to the closing body tag, we need a script point to our external JavaScript file, okay? So that's it for our bullet plate. And now let's move into HTML, okay? Let's create our basic structure. First of all, let's go into the body here and let's create our H1, it's gonna be our title. And for the title, let's say the name of the project, okay? Tab Bear Navigation JavaScript, all right? And as we always do, we're gonna use Live Server and put them side by side. We're gonna be coding the right and see the result in real time on the left. So you know exactly what you're doing, okay? Now let's create our main container, the one that's gonna wrap around everything. The class is gonna be tab nav container and inside this one we're gonna have four divs okay the first one here has a class of tab active purple okay we're gonna be activating different ones using JavaScript and for the icon let's use the font also class F A S F A dash home the paragraph here is going to be home and as you can see on the left we have it already we have the icon and the paragraph so let's move to the second one this one here is going to have the class of tab pink all right and also inside of this one you can use the font awesome class f a r f a dash heart and the paragraph is gonna say likes okay we're almost there two more to go so this one is gonna have the class of tab and yellow all right and inside this one we're gonna use the font awesome we have icon and the class here is gonna be f a s f a search okay and of course, you can have also a paragraph. And here, let's say search, if I can type. Yeah, looks like I did it. And now let's go to the last one. This one is gonna be tab.till. And 
let's again use the icon from font also f r f a r f a dash bell and of course here let's say something like notifications and that's it this is our HTML simple like that let's give a style using CSS all right and now we are in CSS let's give some style to our page let's start by grabbing a nice font from Google fonts okay in this case Lato and apply to our page and the second thing here, let's get the universal selector and apply box sizing border box to everything, okay? This is our CSS reset. And now we're gonna grab the body, okay? It's the next one. And let's start with the color, okay? Background color here, this one. This, this is the active one, it's gonna be purple, so 91551831, alright? This color is gonna be an active one. And the, the font family here is gonna be Lotto and Sunserif in case of something goes wrong, okay? As a fallback. And continue here, let's apply flex for layout okay leading out from the left to the right but that's not what you want so we're gonna change that okay but for now align item center okay we also want the flex direction to be changed okay it's gonna be column so the main x goes from top to the bottom and now let's also apply a meme height of 100 VH. Okay. Nice. Now it's time for us to put this in the middle with just five content. Let me give some space here. Organize. Okay. So now let's say just five content and apply that to center. So this time is in the main x the main x go from the top to the bottom because we have up there flex direction column okay change the flow we need also to align this text so text aligning here is going to be center now the text and the icon are aligned all right and let's apply some margin here margin zero all right the next step here we're going to apply some transition we want to transition on the background is going to be changed using GS for second is linear all right and now we're going to grab the h1 okay our title here the tab bear navigation JavaScript and let's apply some style to it okay let me type here h1 is this one all right and let's start by change its color okay so let's say color and let's apply a RGB all right 226 226 226 is almost a white color okay and in here let's also change the position to absolute so you can apply top okay it's gonna be here uh, 20 pixels from the top so top 20 pixels all right and yeah nice result exactly where we want it to be all right and now we're gonna deal with our main container okay our tab nav container let's start out by change this color it's gonna be rgb226 also okay and we're gonna have a body radius button right in the left because right now it is very square on the corners and want that to be a little round okay like 30 pixels okay now let's do the same thing to the left okay so butter bottom left radius the same thing 30 pixels all right and let's apply some shadow and here is going to be 0, 3 pixels, and 6 pixels. And for the color, RGBA is going to be black. Okay. 0, 0, 0. 
and the alpha here is going to be dot 16. Let's just copy and paste this one. Okay, let's duplicate. Let me save. As you can see, we have a nice shadow effect on here. Okay, not too big, not too small, just nice effect. For the layout, here is going to be flex, you know, laying out from the left to the right. And just find content, it's going to be space between. Okay, we can't see right now because we have to apply some padding and width. So padding is going to be 30 pixels, all right. Start to take a shape. And the width is going to be 450 pixels, okay, 450 pixels. And yeah, I start to have a nice shape. And so now we're gonna style the tabs individually, all right? Each one of them. Let's start here. Let's have the grab the tab. And let's change its color, okay? The same color of our project, RGB 226, 226. Okay, it is white color. And here we also want the body radius to be 50 pixels okay you can see right now because both of them are white the cursor is going to be pointer so the user know that he can click some of it okay that's the idea and the display here is going to be also flex okay leading out from the left to the right so they are side by side all right And we also want to align items the center, okay? This is a, 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 in the cross axis, all right? We want also just like content center, so along the main axis. And we're gonna add a padding of zero, top and bottom, and 20 pixels left and right, give you some space in between our tabs. All right, as you can see, there is some space in between them. Okay, about the margin is going to be zero and ten pixels. Do not worry about this notification right now because they are going to be added using JavaScript. Okay, sometimes you see just the icon, and when we click, you're going to see the paragraph. The transition here is going to be applied on the background. The time dot for seconds is going to be linear. Okay. All right. For now, it's okay. So let's go to the next one. Okay. Let's grab the tab. Let me give some space here. So it's easy for you to follow along with me. Let's grab the tab and then the icon itself. And let's change its font size to 1.2 am. And let's save. Yeah, a little bigger. Nice to see. All right. And if you're like me, you hate to see this paragraph. Okay, so let's deal with that. And let's get rid of this. Uh, font weight here is going to be bold. Okay. We also want that one to have a overflow hidden. And now let's get rid of this. Okay, as it is for now. So let's have max width. It's going to be zero. Okay, but when we click, the JavaScript is going to have it back. All right. And now we're going to style our active classes. Okay wherever the javascript make the active so let's have that styled okay we're gonna start with our tab active and paragraph okay the margin left is gonna be 10 pixel and the main thing here the max width we set that to zero remember now this is gonna be 200 pixels and you can see the text you can see home there and we are going to apply a transition on this one. So transition on max width. The time here is going to be dot four seconds and it's going to be linear. All right. And now we're going to grab the tab. Okay. Active. 
and if I can type, looks like it's not the case. So the tab active and purple, okay, this is our main one. We're gonna change two things in all of them. The first thing here is gonna be the background. This one is gonna be a purple color. Let's see, 91551.83 and the transparency.2, okay? Let's just copy this one for the color. Let me type color, paste this one. And what's gonna be different is gonna be the transparency. So it's gonna be one, all right? Let's move to the second one here, tab dot active. This time it's gonna be the pink, the like, the one who has the heart, okay? And the background, of course, is gonna be a pink color. Let me just type this one, 201, 50, 50, 157, and transparency, dot two, okay? Let's do the same thing. And you don't have to watch me doing this, you can double the speed, okay? Or in, in the end, you can pause and copy, okay? Let me just show you what's going on here, okay? Right now, I'm gonna take the active from the purple and put that on pink. As you can see, it's working already, okay? So that's what JavaScript is gonna do. This is gonna be that behave when the user click on the tab, okay? Let's go to the next one, tab active and yellow, all right? And the background here is gonna be, of course, yellow. Let me type here RGBA 230, 169, and 25, transparency.2. And the color, let me just call this one for the color. We are gonna have to change the color later on, okay? Just the transparency is gonna, is gonna be one, okay? And yeah, let's go to the last one. This one is tab active and the color i think is theo i don't know how to pronounce that so the background is going to be rgba 28 150 162 and transparency dot two all right let me just copy this again and paste it here okay remember that the, our patrons the guys that support our channel they can go there and download the source code and i really would really like to say thank you for these guys because my channel right now is a small one it's not monetized but this guy is make all the difference so thank you my patrons okay guys and let me show you active your pink nice on the yellow okay such very beautiful so that's it guys, that's what JavaScript is gonna do, okay? I hope you understand that. We got to the big moment, okay? We are in JavaScript, where the magic happens. And you're gonna start by selecting or grabbing or having a reference to our tabs, okay? So document, query select all, of course, we're gonna select those one. We're gonna grab the tabs, okay? But in order to manipulate them, to use them, you have to save them somewhere. So we're gonna save them into a variable and let's call it tabs because as you know, it's more than one. We have four tabs here, okay? Let me give more space. I hope this is crystal clear. And another thing we're gonna do here, let's comment so you know exactly what your piece of code is doing. Sometimes you think you know, yeah, you know right now, but in one month from now, yeah, you're gonna forget that. So this piece of code is gonna get all the tabs, simple like that. Okay, and now that you have that reference to our tabs, now we can manipulate them, okay? So we're gonna tape the tabs and let's loop it through it, all right? So tabs for each. Let's say here, click the tab. 
you can say whatever you want does make the difference so tabs for each tab and let's have this add a function okay and something is gonna happen what you're gonna do here we are gonna add a event list on click so every time the user click on a tab something is gonna happen okay we're gonna have a callback function so let me comment here so you can know exactly what you're doing let's add event list okay so click tab dot add event list and we're gonna add event list on click there is a lot of different options but this one is on click and every time the user clicks something is gonna happen okay we're gonna run this function and this function is gonna do something in this case what is gonna happen we're gonna remove the active class from everything okay let me comment this here remove the active class from all tabs okay it's very clear it's very simple no problem here so let's do it here okay let's take the tabs for each and here for each tab okay let's have here our arrow function and here is our piece of code tab dot class list remove of course we are removing the class active from our tab okay so that's it that's what this piece of code is gonna do all right i hope you guys really really understood that all right and now we're gonna do we're gonna add the active class on each one of the tabs okay let me comment here add active class on the clicked tab all right so every time the user click in one tab this one is gonna be active so let's take the click tab class list this time add and the class here is gonna be of course active so every time he clicks on it this is gonna be active all right okay and now we want to get the color that he clicks on it okay so let's save that into a variable let's call this one in click the tab bg color okay and we're gonna use a property we're gonna get the computer if i can type okay get computer style all right and the one that you want is the from the click tab we want the color okay so let's let's say here get property value and the value from what the value from the color okay let me type here get property value and color okay so now let me show you or then just show the code i'm gonna show you how the code really works let's let's log that to the console okay so console dot log and here let's say clicked tab bg color okay let me show you i click a home and you you get the color okay we get this property the likes another color a different one search you get this color and if i click on this one the notification we have its color okay it's simple like that all right we are almost finished here and now we are gonna set a background color for a, a document okay and you are gonna set that to wherever the clicked tab 
BG color is okay. It's quite simple. So document dot body and the style applied it to the background, and we are gonna set that to click the tab BG color. Okay. So wherever we click, it's gonna change the color of the background. If the click tab is red, the background is gonna be red. If the click tab is green, all the background is gonna be green. Let me show you. Likes, okay, so everything is pink, everything here is yellow, and everything here is still. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I really hope you like it. If you like it, you, you know what to do. Subscribe and you also click that little bell so you get notified every time I post a video like this one. Bye bye. See you in the next video. I would like to say thank you again to our patients. Bye bye and see you in the next video.